In this video, I'm going to explain the difference between an audio interface versus a mixer with a USB interface integrated. Check it out. What's up, my name is Matthew, bringing you the best tips and tools to help you create music. On this channel, I do setup videos, tutorials, overviews, exactly like this one. If you're new here, consider subscribing. So maybe you've been searching the internet, trying to find a way to record into your computer, and you've come across different options. So in this video, I'm gonna explain the difference between there's a straight USB interface and a mixer that has an interface built into it and a multi-track mixer as well. So let's go ahead and get into it. Right here in front of me is the Focusrite Scarlett 2i2. Right to the right of that is the Q1202 USB by Behringer. And then over here to the right of that is the Zoom L12, which is the Live Track L12. So these are three different kinds of mixers, or should I say audio interfaces, that can send signals directly into your DAW or your DAW. And this way you could take those signals and record them into your DAW and start to produce music, okay? So, and the reason why I'm talking about these three items specifically because these three items, yes, they all achieve the goal of recording audio into your DAW, but how they go about it is a little bit different, okay? So starting over here with the Focusrite 2i2, this is a standard USB audio interface. So it has two inputs and it has two outputs. Now, right here is the USB port, okay? So you plug your USB cable right into here and that goes into your computer. Now, with this particular interface, you got two inputs right here and they're gonna show up as two inputs inside of your software, okay? So that's this one here. Over here to the right of that is your USB mixer, okay? So this is the Behringer, you know, 1202 USB. Now, this has 12 different inputs, okay? And the thing about this one is although it has 12 different inputs, you might think, okay, well, that's gonna give me 12 inputs inside of my software, but this one does not do that. You only get two inputs into your software. To the right of that, I'm not gonna pick it up, but to the right of that is the Zoom L12. This gives you 12 different inputs here, you know, 12 different physical inputs, but it actually gives you 14 digital inputs inside of your DAW, okay? So you're gonna be able to plug input one through 12 inside of your DAW, plus the mix of everything that you have mixed here through the master channel into your DAW, okay? so. That's the main core difference between what these mean as far as recording into your DAW or your DAW. So let's go a little bit deeper with this. So on your focus right, you got your two inputs, you got gain knobs for the two inputs, okay? So on your Behringer, you have gain knobs for your inputs. On the Zoom, you have gain knobs for your inputs, okay? So what that means is if you have a low signal, you can boost that signal a little bit with this gain knob, okay? And then you can get the exact signal you may want. Maybe you want negative 18 decibels in your software. You can get that perfectly right here. And it all depends on how you're recording and what you want to do with your recording. And that goes the same with all of these items. You can set your gain with each one of these items. Now, the thing about your mixers, okay, is once you set this gain knob in this mixer, that's not the only thing that affects the signal on your physical device, okay? So when you plug your input in here, you can affect the signal with the gain knob, and the same thing is it, when you plug your input into here, say you plug your microphone into here, and you wanna get negative 18 on your microphone, you could get that with the gain knob. But in addition to that, you have all this different stuff on this channel, okay, that that's gonna go through. So you could get your level, say you want your level negative 18, so you're like talking in the mic or singing in the mic, you get your level where you want it. Then you got a compressor it goes through, okay? On your interface here, there's no compressor. And then it goes through your EQ. You have a high, you got a mid, 
and you got a low and you've got a low cut right here for your EQ. So it's going to go through all of that. And then you have an effect send. Okay, so you could put this through your effect send. That's going to come out here. Okay, and then you have a pan. And then on top of that, you have an additional level to your overall level of your input. Okay, and then on this particular mixer on the Behringer, you can set all that for each channel, each one of these channels. Okay, and then these channels are stereo channels over here, you know, through 12. You can set your levels and everything, set your EQs, everything like that. All that's gonna channel and go into your main mix here. And then your main mix is actually what gets inputted into your DAW. So you're only gonna have your left and right inside of your DAW or your one and two inputs inside your DAW. Like left and right, one and two. So left would be one, input one and then right would be input two, for example. Okay. so. That's how this mixer works with, you know, the regular USB interface built into it. Now with your Zoom L12, you can do all that EQing I was talking about on the Behringer. Like you can select right here. And if this was turned on, you would actually get access to EQ this channel. So don't be fooled by this channel strip. This is just, they just digitized it. It's the same thing as this right here, as far as like you got your input, you got your trim, you got your compressor, you got your EQ, and you got your pan and level. The same thing here, you got your input, you have your gain, you got your compressor, then you can EQ. So pretend like this is under here. So you can EQ every channel, and then you can set your level for each channel. And you can do that for the whole mix, okay? Okay, so you can have each one of these uh, different levels, each EQ differently. That mix is gonna go through your master, okay? And then your master with the zoom, okay, it's gonna show up as channel 13 and 14, or inputs 13 and 14 inside of your DAW. So in that regard, the Behringer as a mixer is the same as the zoom as a mixer with the USB interface, but the zoom has a leg up because the zoom actually has the ability to take these individual channels and bring them into the DAW separately. And if you're finding value in this, go ahead and push the thumbs up. It helps spread the word and spread the knowledge about these items. So I really appreciate that. So the zoom has a huge advantage over either one of these. Okay. Now, it's not to say that you cannot get a USB interface that has multiple inputs, that has 12 inputs. You can, all right? But in this example, that's where this zoom right here gives you the best of both worlds as far as it's a 12 input interface. And then it also is a mixer that has a USB interface built into it for thir channel 13 and 14 within your DAW. So your Zoom multi-track basically combines like an interface, like a USB interface that just has your inputs with a mixer that you channel everything through the mixer and you can EQ it and add the built-in effects or whatever, and then send those two inputs into your DAW, one and two, through the main mix. So Zoom has individual inputs plus a main mix. So it's the best of both worlds. All right, so there you go. I mean, that's really the difference between these items. That's the huge big difference, okay? Now, obviously, you can have different USB interfaces in different mixers and in different multi-tracks that do different things depending on what you want. But when you're talking about audio interfaces, mixers with an audio interface built in, and then a mixer with an audio interface built in that's actually a multi-track mixer, that's the main difference is the, the inputs, how the inputs get sent into your DAW. So if you have any questions about this, please leave it in the comments below and you know give me your input, everything to that effect. Now, I didn't really cover these in depth because each one does its own thing in its own way. So if you want a more in-depth video about one of these items, let me know in the comments because I can definitely go over this more in depth, more in detail. All right, um, I just wanted to give you that basic understanding of what an audio interface is and what a mixer with an audio interface is. 
All right, so, so I'll definitely do future videos about these based on the comments that I get because you know I wanna answer your questions specifically rather than just ranting for 30 minutes about this. I could definitely go in more in detail about this, but it'd be more helpful to know like specifically what you wanna hear. So I'll go ahead and put those other videos over here. So click the screen or tap the screen right here. That's gonna take you to that video series where I'm gonna put all those videos in. And remember to subscribe to the channel Click the bell icon. This way you can get notified whenever I come out with new videos. My name is Matthew. Continue creating music and we'll talk soon.